Hello there, my mate Vince here, and back again with another tea break repair. So pause the video, go get yourself a nice drink, and come join me over the next, who knows, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes? I'm not too sure, but I'll try to keep it as brief as possible. Today I'm just drinking water out of my Kip Hakes mug because I went out a few nights ago, and believe it or not, I still have a hangover, which is bad considering I'm not 20 anymore. I should know better. Anyway. And I've only got one kidney. Anyway, uh, Kip Hakes is another YouTuber. And speaking about YouTubers, look what I've got here. So we've got a safety RCD adapter. You would want to use one of these, for example, if you wanted to mow your garden. Yeah, and then you would plug this in inside the house. And then if you were to go through the lead, then it's not going to be as dangerous. Whether or not you need these if you have a modern fuse board or not, I'm not too sure. I do have a modern fuse board. I still use them because I suppose it's belt and braces. I can't see why it would do any harm. So this was sent in by Gadget UK 164 Chris, and he sent me a few things uh, that we'll hopefully look at. Uh, well, not these ones, but hopefully I can look at the drill in another tea break repair. And it just says here, hi Vince, a few things that might make a good tea break fix. The RCD doesn't match on after pressing reset was brand new and left sat on a shelf for a few years never used so don't turn off the video i think this is going to be interesting what is it on purpose i haven't looked at any other video on this because i want it to be a surprise i know when you plug it in you press reset and then i always press test and i press reset again to make sure it's working but i don't know what latches that on I really don't know what's latching it on. Now, obviously, I presume with these things, you're not really supposed to take them apart because it's mains voltage going into them. But I'm I'm hoping I don't have to get involved with the electrical side too much. I'm wondering if it's going to be some mechanical thing, but I really don't know. So that's going to be interesting. When uh, I spoke to Chris, he I think he kind of knows how these work, but he said he won't spoil it for me because half the enjoyment of taking something apart is seeing what's on the inside. So basically, you've got this one here. There's also a drill that we'll look at another time. I've got some uh, PSUs for an old IBM laptop that I looked at, but I just want to draw your attention to this bit here, you see. Keep up the fantastic work. Your channel is my favorite channel on YouTube. Wait for it. Hands down. Come on. Come on now. Thank you, Chris. So if you haven't already seen Chris's videos, I'm sure anybody on my channel will already know who Chris is. Uh, Gadget UK 164 does so many retro consoles and really knows his stuff. Uh, I know for a fact that loads of my viewers already watch Chris. But if you haven't heard about him, check him out. I'll put a link down in the description down below. So uh, yeah, just in case my head couldn't get any bigger, hands down, you see, that's the bit there. That's the important bit there, hands down. I won't be able to leave this room now because my head's sweating so much, I'll get caught in the door frame. Now, let's have a look here. So when they're off, they don't latch on, but you can see the little sort of uh, indicator comes on there. I'm really curious what's gonna be. So. Reset, no, test. So you can't test it because it's not latching down. Yet it's a new product. What is it gonna be? You know that this one's gonna be interesting. This is one of those things that's gonna be interesting but it's gonna get next to no YouTube views because nobody will think to click on it but it's still gonna be interesting. Talks nine, I think it is. Now obviously don't copy what you see in my videos. There's 240 volts AC going into here. There's enough to kid you. I'm not gonna be working on it when it's plugged in but there still might be uh, power stored in capacitors on the inside. So now this is the problem I've got. Is that going to disappear in here? Right, I might be able to undo it by just doing that and then just putting a bit of pressure on it and just putting the end of this on it. Yeah, there we go. Chris also is like a, a friend, you know, even if I didn't, uh, if I stopped doing YouTube, if YouTube comes to an end, because let's face it, YouTube's kind of getting hard, getting harder to do now. There's uh, so much competition and also nothing seems to really go viral anymore. So you're just kind of making wages on each video rather than making uh, you know, good money through the videos. I'm still lucky I still have videos from years ago. That's my only USP is the fact that I started in 2014. <laughs> That's the only thing I've got. But uh, even if YouTube finished, I would still consider Chris to be a friend. I'd like to keep in contact with him. I want, obviously, YouTube to last as long as possible, but it's becoming a bit of a race to the bottom. If you've noticed all the clickbaity titles and thumbnails and stuff, it's very hard to compete with that. Uh, 
which is a real shame because in, in my opinion it's killing YouTube but you let me know what you think down in the comments down below right okay so now this is that kind of guard to stop people plugging in something into their lives in less than uh, the, the earth goes in first can you see the earth pins longer than the other the live and neutral so the earth pin has to give first before you can get access to these other ones so I'll worry about that later on why are you not latching on now is there anything here that's going to give me a shock why is coming up to here going to here can I push that out? Can I pull these out? No. Oh, yes, I can. Hold on now. I don't want to just all pull it out and then not know where things go. So do these push out? I don't think these are going to push. Oh, they do push out. Yes, they do. Excellent. Okay. Don't understand what's going on and I can't work out how it's supposed to latch. Ah. Ha, 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 ha. Ooh. Do you know what this is reminding me of? A Porsche toaster. Look here. You know, when you put a toaster down, it's like held magnetically, isn't it, by some sort of solenoidy type thing. Look what we've got here. Can you hear that? When you press that down, because that is the one, isn't it? Yeah, the reset is the top one. When we press that, that has to energise. So why is that not energising? That's not energising, but it all looks very clean. And when you press that, it releases it, and it's going to release this out, isn't it? So you do this, and the test is when you do that, it will release this back out. So why is that not staying down? Can we see why? Any dirt anywhere? No. Any dirt here? So could it be, is it dirty here, I wonder? Has it just got tarnished? can't see if that bit there is like a different colour or whether it's just a reflection. Just get a Q-tip, cotton bud. Is that dirty? Hmm. I don't know how clean this was to begin with. So when we press this in, it's definitely going all the way. I think we need to put that back together and see if it's working. Reset. No. Ooh, no, it's still not resetting. Right, okay. Uh, I wonder, is it actually working if we were to hold down reset? Does it then allow power through? Let's plug something into it. Now let's plug in the drill that he sent over. I hope this is going to go in okay. Yes, it is. Yes, right, okay. So, nothing at the moment, as you would expect, but if I hold down reset, still nothing. Oh, I'm slightly confused here, because look, we have contacts here, they're not touching. Okay. When we press this here, now if we keep, ah, they, sorry, yeah, you press this in, that keeps it down, and then they touch. Right, so, they have to, this surely has to energise first, and then when you let go of that, they then make the contact. So when I was doing that, it's not going to work, is it? You know, when I was holding this down, it's not going to work, because you can see that this here isn't energising to the output sockets. So we've got input and output. These are the outputs, so this is what's plugging into the AC, the 240 volts AC. Then when these contacts connect by holding that down there, then it pushes power through to uh, down to this bit here and this bit here, yeah? To then put power to the drill that we have plugged in. Right, so could it still be mechanical? No, it can't. Why is this not being energized? When we get power here and press that, how does that then, how does the power travel down to get into the board? How 
does that power down to get into the board? Massively... Ah, oh, sorry. We have a little blue and a red wire which puts power into the board. Now this is getting more interesting. So a blue and a wet red wire. That's, uh, you know, that, that allows the switching. Got some fancy looking thing here as well. It's like the wires are going through a coil. So that must be to measure current. It says Z1 and Z2. Sorry. Z1 and Z2. I'm getting two... You know, Q-tips and all the rest of it. Z1 and Z2. I wonder, could that be at fault? Because it's not measuring any, not measuring any current. But saying that, it needs to. When we press that in, press that. In, it needs to do that, and then I suppose it starts energizing. This goes up to here, but at that stage, it hasn't. Nah, it's not it's not it's not getting to that stage because look when we press that in to begin with and let go, it's not joining yet. This has to energize first. So it must be these little wires which are somehow energizing this thing here. I think the problem is with this. How do I test that? Okay, so we've got a circuit between here and here, which we would have because it's on the same thing. Where does this little wire go to? I don't think this is suited to a T-brake fix. I really want to see how that works in here. There must be some sort of coil that gets energized. I don't think that's working. I wonder how disastrous it's going to be if I take out these prongs here. See, I know it could be elsewhere. I'm just thinking it's not even allowing it to get to this stage. I think this is the stage where it gets too much, you know, if there's, it detects a fault that it trips or when you press the button, it activates this. Uh, I think it's a problem in here. So I'm just seeing what happens when I loosen these up. I know we're going to have to unsolder wires as well. Do you know what? I think it's just these two that I have to unsolder. This must be where it starts. What does it say here? One and two. One and two. I think it's these two here. So if I uh, just go across here again on continuity, I wonder, does it tell me anything? No. Let's just go straight to ohms. Right, nothing there. Now let's short it and test that again. No, oh yes, there is. It's in the mega ohms. Right, let's let go of it. No. Hmm. Right, I am going to unsolder these two bits here and see if there's a way I can take this whole section out. Let's just unclip this. Now let's see what it want to come out now. Is it going to spring into a million different pieces? No, it wants to come out. Oh, 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 careful now. Careful. Here we go. Do you know what? It looks like there's little wires around here. I wonder the coil that energizes. Maybe it's not energizing. Has to be a coil that energizes in here. So we should, we have to have resistance on this coil, don't we? Because it's just going to be a coil of wire. And we, we checked that earlier and there wasn't. So that there has to be this that's at fault. There's nothing there. So that has failed, I think. Can I take this apart further? Yeah, 
Yes, I can. Excellent. Now, can this section come out? Yes, it can. Here we go. Ah, it is a coil, it is a coil. Yes, 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 right, okay. Let's zoom right the way in, undo this. We might be able to physically see a broken wire. So, wire's coming up from here, and a wire's coming up from here, isn't it? So where's it broken? This is, I bet this is faulty from new. There it is, all the enameled wire. Does that bit look funny there? Ooh. That doesn't look healthy at all, does it? That does not look healthy. Be really careful now. Is it going to make a difference when we've got all that winding if it's broken at the very edge? I mean, if it was broken halfway through, yes. But if I could just take off a couple of revolutions off it, then uh, it might be all right. Let's break it here. There. Right, so leave that one intact. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, you can actually find a break on it. Oh, I was expecting to see a break by now. No, what's going on? Oh, that's bad news. It's not broken. But it is very fat here, and why would it be fat there? Well, I'm slightly confused now. So that means it's going to have failed uh, in the coil somewhere, which there's nothing I can do about it, but I will try to find the end of it. Now I've got a system going. It'll only take me three hours now. Ooh, now. It broke there, but I think that was me because it reached the top. I think it just uh, snagged. Let me just double check. I'd love to see the multimeter come to life though. Oh my God, that's to break, guys, that's to break. Look at that, 13.8, 13,800 ohms, and it's now working. So, I promise you this is not going back into use. I just wanna solder this back up if I can and see if we can actually get it working. You can see all of it there. So out of all of that, I would say I've probably only taken about 130 off, off it off. So uh, yeah, so that was it, it was broken actually in the length, not on the end. I would say that's quite unusual. I would say normally it would break on the ends, not in the middle. I think it's faulty from manufacture. Now let's get this bit.
Right, okay. <laughs> there we have it. Let's see if we get anything. Please get home reading. Ready? Come on now. Result. Brilliant. There you go. 13,700 ohm. I wonder what it would be with that, that amount on it. Would it be 14,000? So, let's put it back together. I need to get a little bit of this, uh, I need to put this back on without trying to break that inner wire. Now just to save the comments, this isn't going in to where uh, this, this won't be used. This is purely to find out what had failed in it. Just a fault finding off uh, trying to fix it. Oh, I love fault finding like that. I love it when your meter tells you that something is broken, as in open, and then you do a bit of soldering and all of a sudden then you get a reading so you know it's different than it was before. So obviously putting this back together is a little bit fiddly because of all the springs and stuff like that. Probably takes a good 20 minutes in real life, but I'm just gonna whiz through all that now and let's just do the testing at the very end. See now, is it gonna be energized and is it gonna stick itself down? Plug it in. So right now, nothing because it's not reset. Reset. And now I'm gonna hold it on and press test and it should stop. There we go. Result. Wow. Happy days. Now, I honestly think that that would be a lasting repair. The problem is it's a safety device. And uh, although that little bit of wire there, which is probably gonna to amount to six meters or so. See, I don't know how much wire would be on the whole thing. Do you know what? Maybe there's more than six meters there. It's amazing. I was unraveling it for a while. But uh, I don't think that would change the resistance that much and it is working. It's just that because I don't fully understand things, I wouldn't like to put this back. You know, I wouldn't like to uh, start using it because the thing is, it's, a, it's a, a thing that's supposed to save a life. And by tampering it with like the, tampering it with it, changing something, then it may no longer save a life. But you put down what you think in the comments. Do you think it would be okay to use or not? It's not gonna make a difference. I'm not gonna use this, but it is still educational. And I really, really enjoyed that video there. But that is it. I reckon it was probably faulty from manufacture. But again, put what you think down in the comments down below. So uh, yeah, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a massive thumbs up and I will see you all very soon. Thank you so much for watching.